Hey there, Darren here from whitespark.ca. Have you ever looked at the results in your rank tracking software and then compared them with your own manual search results and wondered why they're different? In today's video, I'm gonna to explain to you why that happens and why you don't need to worry about it. Okay, so today I wanna to address two common concerns that come up with rank tracking software. So one is that people will often complain that they see different results when they search manually from what the tool is reporting. And two, people are often concerned when they see really big ranking drops and they think that something's gone wrong with their SEO. So I wanna help you understand how rank tracking works so you can understand how these ranking variations and fluctuations are actually expected behavior and not something for you to worry about. First off, let's discuss why you are typically gonna see different results from what rank tracking software is gonna report. So if I'm looking at my results, like in this case here, I can see that the rank tracking software, this is from our local rank tracker, is reporting that for this term, Fresno Electrician, I'm, I'm typically ranking, you can see some variation here between five and three and five, and it jumps around a little bit, but I'm generally ranking in positions, you know, five to three. So you can see that sort of ranking jumping around. I might see that in my software and be like, you know, that doesn't really jive with what I see in the search results. And so I go to my search results and I type in Fresno electrician and I take a look. All right, well, Shaw Electrical is not in the top three. Where do I find my business? There it is. What? That's like position 12. This rank tracker is not accurate. So that's that's often what people will think, but that's not how it works. It's it, Rank tracking is actually very complicated. Google search results are very complicated. And so you can't really do a manual check like that. This applies to both the organic and the local rankings, but in the local rankings, you're gonna see an even more pronounced variation because of the strong impact that proximity plays in the local rankings. The thing is, is that there is no single accurate ranking that you can use as a metric. When you compare manually with what you see in the software, you're almost guaranteed to always see different results. It's expected behavior. And the reasons for this is that rankings vary significantly based off of a number of different factors. Number one, location, the location setting in either the software or the, your personal location when you search. Number two, time. Number three, uh, IP address. And number four, the browser or device you're using can even have an impact. I'll go through each of these. So first of all, with regards to location, did you know that your rankings can vary on every single street corner. I wanted to test this, so on a recent trip to the grocery store, I stopped every couple blocks, ran a search on my phone, and took a screenshot. And I specifically looked at the local pack to see how the rankings varied based off of my physical location. And so I've recorded the results here. You can kind of see how this works. So this is what the local pack looks like at my location. So I've got you know, these three businesses ranking. If I go one block up, it's still the same results. I still see the same three businesses ranking. One block over, I can see that Oliver Family Dental has dropped out of the local pack, and now there's a, a new business in there, uh, Cindy Newfield. I go one block over, and now two new businesses are in the local pack. So this is just like a, a two block difference. In two blocks, my local pack has changed completely. I go another block, I get different businesses, different businesses. And so you can actually see block by block how the local results are changing. And it's, it's pretty phenomenal what an impact proximity has on the local search results. I think it's important to understand how a rank tracker sets location. So rank trackers will use a special parameter called a UULE. And that is a parameter you can pass to Google to say, ignore my my device location settings, my, what, my GPS location settings, whatever, ignore those and set the location to be this precise spot. And you can actually set them to be uh, based off of the city and state. You can set a UULE to be based off of the zip code or even as precise as geo coordinates. So let me show you how that works in action. If I run a search for plumbers, 
Google knows I'm located in Edmonton and it's gonna give me a three pack. And it's even more precise than that. These are actually all businesses pretty close to my neighborhood. It, you can see that this map is centered right around where I'm currently located. The way a rain tracker works is it tries to mimic that location setting. And so we use what are called UULEs to set the location. And I've got a few of them recorded here. So uh, let's just say I do Dallas. So if I take this UULE, so instead of the location being set to my default location, I can actually add this parameter to the URL at the top here. I can say UULE equals this special code. That's the, that's the location for Dallas. There we go. It set the location to Dallas and now I'm actually seeing a local pack for Dallas. That is how almost every rank tracking software works to specify the location and Google's now gonna show me results for that area. And it actually impacts all of the organic results and the local results. Because rank trackers set location that way, it's unless you are manually setting location in the exact same way, it's very hard to compare. You're basically comparing apples to oranges because your location setting is based off of your current location whereas the software is being extremely precise about the location setting. So it's really important to understand that you can't really mimic that, that location setting that the software is doing. Another factor that comes into play is actually time because rankings will vary hour by hour. Chris Green ran a really cool study on this back in 2017. He wanted to see how much fluctuation is there in the rankings hour by hour. So they ran the exact same keyword and they checked rankings. And this chart here demonstrates how rankings jump around. And you can see that the, each, each row represents a business or a, a URL and you can see how it changed. I wanted to see if we had the same kind of impact in the local rankings. So we ran a similar study at Whitespark where we checked local rankings for a number of terms, hour by hour, and here's one of the example charts from Los Angeles Pest Control. So you can see the same kind of thing. Some businesses aren't ranking at all, and then they have this big spike. They start ranking in position 30, and then they drop off the face of the map again. And other businesses, they're ranking in like position 60, they'll jump up to position 30, jump down. And this is just on an hourly basis. And so what that means is it's very hard for you to assess the accuracy of the rank tracker by checking manually at let's say 3 p.m. when the rank tracker ran at 2 a.m. So if the rank tracker was crawling results a long time ago and you're checking now, results could be completely different. So time is another factor you have to consider. Another factor is just your IP address because the rank tracking software is going to be searching from their server's IP and your IP is going to show different results because of location and because of any browser history that's run on both of those. Browser history will also impact the results. And finally, there's even variation between different browsers. And so if you run the exact same search right now for uh, a term in Google Chrome, and then you run it also in Firefox, you're gonna see that the results are actually different, just slightly different. And so knowing that there's so many different signals that Google is incorporating in and how they change results makes it pretty clear that it's very hard to validate the accuracy of a local rank tracker. It actually, it doesn't mean that the rank tracker is not accurate. The rank tracking software is accurate at that specific moment with those specific location settings. You just can't exactly mirror it to validate. And no, you can't set an incognito browser and turn off your location settings to mirror it because of all the reasons I just explained. There's, there's too many other factors that you're not able to mimic. So knowing that this variation exists and knowing that rankings fluctuate so much, uh, it should give you some confidence that you don't really need to panic when you see a big ranking drop. So for example, if, if my business is, is Action Muffler and I'm tracking the term radiator repair, I might see that on the 28th of April, I was ranking in position six. And then the next day, oh no, we totally plummeted. Now I rank in position 100. So, you know, sometimes if you're an agency, you might get a phone call from a client saying, 
Hey, what happened to my rankings? We totally fell off for radiator repair. I care about that term. I want to rank for it. Something's gone wrong with the SEO. You have to fix it. This is a case where I would say, don't panic. This is also expected behavior. What you really want to be doing is analyzing your rankings as trends over time. So you can't really look at you know, point A to point B, you really have to look at the full trend. And if you did zoom out and look at the full trend for this term, you would see a chart that looks like this. Basically, we rank position seven, six on average almost every day, but at that precise moment in time, something wonky happened with Google and we actually fell down to 100, but the very next day we were right back and rolling the way we were. And so, you don't need to panic when you see a drop like this. It doesn't mean that anything went wrong with your SEO. This is just Google being Google and it's nothing to worry about. And so this really makes you think about the frequency of rank tracking. So some people, they only track rankings monthly. If you track rankings monthly, you are really missing out on those trends. You kind of need to see things over time because if you were only tracking monthly, you might see that number and think, oh no, we, we totally fell off for that term, we better do something. You might mobilize the forces to try and get this thing fixed, but in, in reality, it's not really a problem. You just happen to catch it at that weird little blip that Google was displaying results at. So in my mind, it's really important to track rankings daily so that you can see the proper trends over time, and particularly in aggregate across all of your keywords. So that leaves us with the question, should you even bother tracking rankings if you can't validate the accuracy of the software? And so I would say that the software is accurate. It's just you can't mimic the exact results that they're, they're getting, but it helps you identify trends over time. And that's what's really important. That's why you really want to track rankings because what gets measured gets improved. And so it's really important to track so you can identify where the problems are and where the improvement opportunities are. If you're looking for a great rank tracker, well, hey, I think we have uh, the best on the market. So you can check that out at whitespark.ca. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and leave me a comment and let me know. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. All right, see you next time.